Hello, are you feeling drained? Well, don't let it sabotage your healthy eating goals. It's common to think I don't have enough energy to process my food cravings, but it's time to break through that barrier and take control. Hi, I'm Nadej Cezana and I go by Nan. I empower successful coaches to stop stress eating one craving at a time to find food freedom. So what are the three main benefits of overcoming this energy barrier? The first one is to increase your self-awareness. By overcoming this energy barrier, you become more aware of your body's signals and its level of energy. You become more mindful and then more intentional when you eat. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you improve your self-control. Instead of feeling helpless and succumbing to food cravings due to what you perceive is a lack of energy, you choose, or you can choose, to prioritize self-care. You can choose to manage your inner energy levels. You can make conscious decisions about how you choose to respond to your food cravings. That's the second step, second benefit. And the third benefit would be to enhance overall well-being. Well, what about being in better physical health when you nourish yourself properly, when you rest properly, as well as mental health, better mental health, because you reduce your stress and you increase your self-care practices. And this is all we're going to talk about today. So if you're like me or any of the successful coaches that I help, that I empower to stop stress eating, here's what may be happening from time to time. So yes, you have a coaching business and also you may have from time to time, or maybe more than you like, food cravings. And your goal may be to not obey the food cravings. But then when you think about your coaching business and perhaps other responsibilities that you want to take and this goal of overcoming stress eating, you tell yourself, I don't have enough energy. And when you think, when I think I don't have enough energy, I don't know about you, but I tend to feel drained. And here's what happens when I feel drained. Then I focus more on my coaching business and perhaps on what I still have to do and the energy that it takes for me to do it. I don't try to manage my food cravings at all. I don't resort to what worked before to manage those food cravings. And I obey the food cravings I overeat. And what happens is that when I behave this way, you know, obeying the food cravings, eating, thinking about everything that I've got to do and the little energy that I have, the impact that this behavior has on my life is that simply I rob myself of my best energy. And by that, I mean my best mental, emotional, but also the way I nourish that energy. I rob myself of all this. And I'm not robbing myself of this energy because I happen to have a coaching business or because I happen to have food cravings or other emotions, which is perfectly normal as a human being. No, I'm robbing myself of this very good energy because I'm choosing to think I don't have enough energy. That, sense, that thought, that sentence in my brain is actually what's making feel, me feel drained. I may be tired physically because of the tasks I'm um, choosing to deal with. But I don't have to think again and again, I don't have enough energy, right? Because this is actually draining myself even more than I can physically be. It may be true that my energy level is going down because I'm working, which makes perfect sense. But then I don't have to repeat to myself that I don't have enough energy, right? We're going to question that thought again because this is the three-step process that I take my clients through. First, we notice. We notice what we're thinking about something, about a goal that we have, and then we question that thought. And three questions that you might be willing to answer when you think about this energy barrier could be first, what would enough energy be like, right? 
what would it be like if I had enough energy? Try to define or even describe to yourself what enough energy is. That's the first question. To have a clear idea, a clear definition, description of what enough energy would be for you can be very different from you to somebody else. So let's be clear about you, new specific definition. That's the first question you might want to ask. The second question is how much energy does processing food cravings take according to you, right? In your idea, how long does it take to process food cravings? In your opinion, how much energy do you need? If you had a scale from zero to 10, where zero is absolutely no energy, 10, the most energy, where do you think you are? What is your opinion of the energy that it takes you right now to process food cravings instead of obeying it, obeying them and overeating? The third question could be, when will you have this amount of energy, right? What will be the conditions, the ideal conditions for you, according to you, to have this amount of energy that you think you need, right? Try to be clear in your head as to what needs to happen, how will you create that? Right? And as always, after noticing, questioning, I invite you to decide on different thoughts. If you decide that I don't have enough energy, is not a thought that you want to keep thinking deliberately. I'm inviting you to change this thought for others. And here are three suggestions. The first one is, this is the time when I believe I don't have enough energy, right? It's like taking a step back and noticing that you're having a thought. That's it. The second thought you might consider boring <laughs> thinking is I have energy. So notice that here what we're doing is that we remove the adverbs, the enough, right? We remove the degree and we just have the pure sentence, the pure fact of I have energy. I'm a human being. I'm alive. So of course I have energy right? And that's it. Just keep it this way. See how you feel, if that changes anything for you. And the third sentence that you might want to think deliberately could be, I'm learning to give myself the best energy, right? And I'm curious to see what you would be doing, how you would be taking care of yourself if you were to think, I'm learning to give myself the best energy. And if you want to share your findings with me, please do so. You know where to find me. You know what my email address is. That's it for today. I hope you liked what I shared with you. And if you're ready for the next step, don't hesitate to click below this, uh, this uh, video in the show note and choose the best option for you to work with me, whether it's free or whether you're ready to apply for the stress eating solution, right? In the meantime, I wish you a very good rest of your day. Take care. Bye.